Hello and welcome to my Coach Helder channel. Today I'm going to be going over installing a console vault in a 2016 Ford F-150 truck. If you've seen my other videos on the console vault, I've put a few of them together for my own vehicle. Been very happy with the installation and I had a buddy of mine who actually watched the videos. He uh, conceals carries often, had some concerns, especially with a lot of break-ins as of late. Asked me my opinion on a console vault. I shared it with him and he decided to pick one up. I told him that I'd go ahead and install it for him since I've done a few of them in the past. He took me up on my offer and I'll go ahead and share that information with you today. If you're not familiar with the console vault, it is an in-vehicle safe. The console vault is available for many makes and models. You can take a look at their website. I'll link it in the description. Just like I told my buddy, no safe or vault is foolproof especially if the thief has enough time. Uh, what is great about these console vaults and many of the safes that I utilize is that they are a deterrent. It'll make it much more difficult and take more time for the thief to be able to get to your goods. So anything we could do to buy some time and make it more difficult for that thief, I'm all in favor of. What I'm gonna do now is go over some of the specs on the console vault and then we're gonna go ahead and install it on my buddy's Ford F-150. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead here and do an unboxing for the console vault for the Ford F-150 2016. The Elite Lock, it is an upgrade, and it is the same lock that I have on my own personal console vaults. So I definitely recommend it for my buddy to pick it up, and he did. There is a simple guide for installation. As you can tell, everything's very well packed, avoiding scratches and dings just from the shipping itself. Okay, so the series or the code for the actual lock is four zeros that is before you go ahead and actually configure it to your own personal code which i will show you how to do in a few minutes and since we do have the four zeros on here we can go ahead hit the button and open it up get this cardboard out of here and get it ready to be set up pressing this little lever gives you control if not if you don't hit the lever it will just spin so once again hitting the lever allowing you to open and close the console vault. Now, when it came to choosing the actual model, my buddy had actually sent me the link from the console vault site, and there were three specific choices when it came to the Ford F-150 for his uh, year, which was 2016. So be sure the pictures are very detailed. Uh, be sure to enlarge those pictures, take a look, and make sure that you select the right one for your vehicle type. And in the box, we also have this other piece that I initially spoke, took out. As I mentioned, we have the spec sheets for how to install both the combination lock as well as the console vault. And as you can tell here, there are four nuts and bolts and the bolts are self-tapping. So the console vault is made of heavy gauge coal rolled plate steel with welded tabs and notched seams. It features the triple guard locking system. These locks are drill resistant. It easily fits inside the factory console. The door is perfectly balanced. And as you can tell here, spring loaded, making it very easy to access and open even while you're driving. It is designed not to block any of the ports, uh, whether it's your 12 volt port or your USB ports. And it comes with console volts lifetime warranty. As I'm about to show you, it easily installs within 10 to 15 minutes. So we're ready to actually install the console vault in the Ford F-150. I grabbed my ratchet set, only needed a couple pieces in there, relatively simple. You could also use other tools, pretty much whatever you have laying around since they are self-tapping bolts, they're very easy to install. So initially we had to remove a piece from the factory console, small little uh, piece on the bottom. We're able to get that out very easily and it is fully explained in the accompanying spec sheet from there we just followed the spec sheet and just inserted the top piece at an angle got everything lined up from there we installed the four nuts got them nice and snug no need to over tighten and then from there we were able to install the four self tapping bolts they were easy to guide in very little force needed to be applied with the ratchet once again didn't over tighten just making them nice and snug and that's all you really need for this install from there i put the uh, initial plastic piece that we had removed 
and put that right back in there fits perfectly with the console vault installed so no issues at all all you really do is have to follow the spec sheet and you'll have your console vault installed in approximately 10 minutes as I mentioned, I opted for the Elite Lock. Well, actually, my buddy did on my recommendation. And once again, you see here that there is a little reset or little button. And just simply with a pin or with a pen that I'm using here, since uh, my buddy had a pen in his console, I'm able to just go ahead and depress that button. From there, pick the actual combo that I wanted, the four digits that are going to be now my personal code. While I'm still depressing with the pen into that little insert, I uh, went ahead, set the four digits that my buddy wanted for his combination, let go of the depressed little pin on the side, and the new combination is now set. It really is that simple. I also want you to keep in mind that they do offer a first responder and veteran discount. I'll place links to that information as well as my affiliate link if you do choose to buy it will help support this channel. I would appreciate that. So bottom line, if you are in the market for a safe for your vehicle to protect your goods and valuables, definitely take a close look at this console vault. It has been working well for me and for my buddies, as you could tell, for quite some time. And I'm sure that it will work very well for you.